Okay, so here, uh, let's say like you put a name of a presentation. Okay. Uh, 711. No, okay. Uh, let's say like. Uh, you mean the property address? The property address. Okay, 719 Pierce Street. P I E R C E. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. just the name, it doesn't really right. matter. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and then you create new. Create new. Okay. Uh, no, actually, do you have the MLS number of 719? The MLS number? Mm, yes, but in the car. In the car. Yeah, I didn't okay. bring it. Let's with see. It. Create new. Then we can. Uh, Get over here. So first of all, you got to um, decide who is the client. So the client will be, um, let's say like uh, the owner's name. Oh no no. The CMA no. normally is the owner's name, because you do the CMA first before you do the listing. But let's say okay. now we yeah, have right. one buyer. Let's say like we have a buyer. The buyer's name is Francis. Okay, in, in order to make it easier, bias. Bias. Perspective. So this is a buyer perspective okay. instead of seller though. Right. And then type, it is a buyer. And then address, this will be the buyer address. So let's say oh, like... Address. Yeah, because okay. right now... You are trying to tell the buyer, okay, um, this property is uh, a good price. So you put down here, and then uh, just type in the basic information, maybe the phone number, and um, then save this contract. That's it. So you do, you can keep doing this, but in order to save time, we just do one, and then that's it. Here, subject property, we need to add the subject property. So you create a new subject property. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a residential. Mm -hmm. And then here, you got to search the subject property. If you have the MLS number, that would be great. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, then you type the address. Hopefully, it will bring you to the listing. Mm -hmm. But here, for your information, normally the CMA will be done before even the listing. Before you get the listing, you are going to show the seller. Let's say, for instance, you have a seller. The seller says, hey, why don't you do, uh, uh, estimate um, my, my property, how much? So... It's before the listing, and and if so, then you just use the temporary listing, and also be, if so, you you won't have any chance to get an MLS number yet, because you don't even 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 get the listing yet. So here, then you um we type the address. You said seven one one, right? Seven one nine. Seven one nine, Pierce. Right. Yeah. P, I E R C E, and then um. Uh, And then uh, you want, you need a city, Albany. Right. Oh, area. Here, yeah, it's oh, uh, okay. required. It means uh, Albany, which Albany. is Richmond. <coughs> but Richmond, where? Oh, click on eight. Num eight. Click Venice. on. Eight. Okay. Okay, Albany. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here, uh, building type normally is detached, and then uh, that's it. I don't know why my name is there instead of Nelson's mm -hmm. name. Because this is your your MLS. This paragon is you. Oh, um, oh, oh. Because okay. this is your. Oh, that's me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You don't have the MLS number, right? 
I don't have right now. No. Right now, no. But let me see if I can find. Besides, you just said I haven't got the listing yet. So of course I don't have MLS. Hmm. True. Let's say this is a new. Yeah, this is a new, uh, new, new, new property. True. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so do you need MLS to do all this? No. Mm, no, we we don't. But uh, but it will be more accurate if we got all the information over there and very accurate. Oh, red thing, red thing. Mm, I try to find the MLS number. Wow. But if we do. Red thing. Red thing is a real t real uh, real estate okay. office. Yeah. Okay, then we just use this one then. Okay, and after you did, did this, then you go to comparable. So how did you get the MLS number? From Redfin? Uh, no, I, to be honest, you should get it uh, not from Redfin. You should get it from 717, right? 719. 719, sorry, bad memory. Yeah, I should get it from MLS. Mm -hmm. Albany, right? Not Richmond. Albany, yeah. Hmm. And also over here, then it will. Um, what? Comparable. Comparable. Uh, comparable. So for comparable, then you. Sorry. Seems a new one. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hope I save it. Okay, let's see, save. Oh, we, we went to Red Thing, now we lost everything. Ah, here, yeah. So here, then we load it, and then we click on the comparable. And then we add the, add more listing on it. Let's say like, we add address search to find two or three houses which is similar to the 719 and then after you did this then you can click on well we can bypass these two first when you know more then you play around with it then you go to presentation setup okay. it will tell you how you can do the presentation at this thing. Okay. Wow, this is this is on the red thing uh red thing website? The property? This one? Yeah? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the computer is a little bit slow. That's why. Can you help me to write it down? Sure. Okay, 4048. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, we can save the paper. Four, eight, nine. 